everyone, it's me, Crafty Witch. Welcome to my witchcraft series. Today I'm going to talk about something called a goddess box. It is a box, <laughs> to say simply. Um, to make one, find a box you want to work with. It could be made out of wood, cardboard, um, glass, whatever, whatever works for you. That's what you're going to do. It could be any size you want it to be. Um, what I used, I used a cardboard shoe box. And then what I done to decorate, and then you can go and decorate it any way you want with whatever the heck it is you want. I'll show you what I done with mine and just discuss a little bit just to give you an idea of what the heck I'm talking about. And, um, and then we'll talk about how you can use it, that type of thing. So, my goddess box is, like I said, made out of a shoe box. And I'll hold it up here. And what I done was I cut out different pictures from magazines of women or whatever kind of goddess images that I like. So, actually, at the very bottom it says goddess. I found that in some magazines. And uh, pictures of strong women wild. I've got some conch shells I got in there, <laughs> some glitter. And then I got all different kinds of women. And you'll see some women with, uh, with like an angel and a devil and <laughs> a chick with boxing gloves on. To me, which represents like strength and everything. And the angel and the devil thing is like we all have the, the good and the bad inside of us type of thing. Um, I'll just show you more pictures. Got women outside, kind of meditating or checking out the scenery. There's outside. Yeah. So I got some stuff on the inside, and then you know the same thing carries over on the inside. Um, then I done the inside of the lid. Ask, talk, speak up. I think that's really important for anybody, not necessarily just women to do, but. To use your voice and to speak up, you know, a lot of times we witness things that we don't necessarily agree with and we're silent about it, you know, or something may really bother us and we don't speak up. We're too afraid to hurt somebody's feelings or we're too afraid it's coming across as being a bitch or what have you, you know. Speak up. You know, if you got an opinion, say it. If something's bothering you, you don't agree with what's going on, speak up, otherwise it's going to chew inside you and whatever, so that's my little bit, got a little old lady there, I don't know if you can see her, that's the crone aspect, um, and again I got the shells, you know, conch shells, which represent the goddess and, and uh, that type of thing, and then inside, some feathers that I use. These look like little tiny eagle feathers, but they're not. They're actually um, goose feathers. For our American neighbors, you know, the Canadian geese that love to go down south and invade your yards and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So here is here is the braid of sweet crab. Burn the tip of it there. Some people don't know what it looks like, so it's just it's a type of grass, and it's uh, braided and it's burned, and it's used for smudging and offering up cards. Then I have inside of it a whole bunch of pine cones. They're like the god aspect, you know, the the goddess gives birth to the god, he's reborn, that type of thing, so, yeah. So that's what's inside mine. Um, some people, if they want something to be empowered or, or you know, charged up with goddess type energies, they put those items inside the box and leave the box on their altar, that type of thing. Um, that's just 
one example of how to make a goddess box. Possibilities are endless. Really, um, I know mine's kind of tacky and whatnot, but I had fun making it. Um, like I said, some people make theirs out of wood um, and engrave it. They, you know, there are some that are just really gorgeous and ornate and everything, and, and then there's some that are made out of cardboard. So whatever works for you, go for it. Tell me what you think. If you try it out, maybe post your own video and show us. That'd be cool. And um, yeah, so that's your your lesson on how to make a goddess box.